Now with the cooler weather, we are getting down with some comfort food today. It's Friday, so why not, right? Chef Rolando Anacito from a City Cellar Wine Bar and Grill is here with us today to share his famous New England clam chowder recipe. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. Good all right, morning. So this isn't always on the uh, on the menu, so we feel honored that you're making it for us. Well, thank so you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Where do we start? Well, we're featuring this um, this week mm -hmm. uh, to celebrate uh, New England Clam Chowder Day. All right, good. And uh, you know, we've made a beautiful clam chowder in house. Uh, we've been smelling it and just you know, absolutely it loving great. the aroma. So it's great. All right. So just a quick overview of uh, how we made it. We have some of our ingredients right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, we start with our uh, bacon and render that out, and we throw in uh, <clears throat> some vegetables. We've got fennel, celery, onion, mm -hmm. and some leeks. And uh, after you get that going, you smell it, it smells good. You go in with some white wine, deglaze it, Beautiful. bring it down, then some clam juice, and you want to simmer it. What, what makes it such a great comfort food? You know, I mean, the smell, it, it just brings you in. But I think it's, it's the richness is really what pulls you in and yeah. kind of uh, makes you feel that comforting feeling and just the uh, savoriness of the smokiness of the bacon. And uh, surf and turf for me is always uh, one of my favorite things to eat. Mm -hmm. And this is essentially a surf and turf soup. So Absolutely. it's just perfect. All right. All right. Good deal. All right. So how long would you say this takes to make from beginning to end? I'd say it's about a 30 minute process. Yeah. You want to really simmer your vegetables with your bacon and the clam juice and get it going and make sure you get all that in before you uh, go in with your roux, which is your thickener, it'd be your butter and flour. All right. And yeah, you know, you just want to develop the flavor, but it's tops 30, 35 minutes. Okay, good deal. Any specials we need to know about going on at the restaurant? Uh, well, just our, <clears throat> what we do every day is just fantastic. Uh, everything is special is what I like to say <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the staff when I do uh, free right. meals. But uh, just to talk about a few things, what we do is uh, we have a beautiful uh, house charcuterie program. We also feature uh, dry aged meats and we always switch it up, have beautiful varieties. Right now we have uh, Kansas City strips in the dry aged box. We've got some lamb T-bones that just went in last night. So we're always switching it up and uh, keeping things interesting. Right. Uh, also, we feature house-made pastas. This bread that you see right here, mm -hmm. this uh, house-made focaccia is a sourdough focaccia. It's a really cool process. We have to feed the sour starter three times a day. Just a lot of technique and scratch cooking, and it's uh, we're very proud to, to cook the way that we do at City Cellar. And uh, you know, we we feel uh, honored to be able to provide uh, West Palm Beach with such awesome artisanal food and. You know, it's a grind every day, and we love it. That's and you what we make, do. yeah, exactly. And you make the the, the changes as uh, the seasons go on. And Absolutely. Some staples on the menu. All right, let's take a look at it. Can we pour some of that? Absolutely. Let's take it out. All right. Don't keep it all to yourself. This <laughs> smells so good. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, chef, we'll give it the taste test during the commercial because uh, they're telling us we got to go because all right. of all that breaking news we just had. But Perfect. thank you. All right. Continued success. Thank you. All right.